Hello and welcome to Mentors Hub. Today we're going to talk to you about configuring your email notifications. So administrators have the option to uh, change the email notification settings and they can do so via the manage page. So just head to the manage menu item. Head to the manage configuration tab and then select email notifications. So when you are configuring email notifications, you have to consider two things. First of all, what actions on your issues would you like to trigger email notification? And those options are presented in the message column over here. So those are all your options uh, for actions to trigger email notifications. Uh, Say if the issue is updated, deleted, uh, opened, uh, if the relationship changes, and also if there are any transitions between uh, the statuses uh, for the issue. The second thing you need to take note of is who you actually want to receive those email notifications. And you can define those in one of two ways. Either according to the user's uh, relationship to the issue, and that's these first five columns here. So if they are the reporter, handler of the issue, category owner, owner etc., uh, then you would tick the relevant boxes here. The other way that you can define uh, which users will receive those email notifications is according to access level. So if you want all viewers, all reporters, uh, etc., to receive those notifications, you would tick those boxes here. One thing to note with users' uh, access levels is that they can be different for each project, so don't forget that when you're setting those up. Um, and, and their project uh, access can be different to their global uh, access as well. The other thing uh, in regards to user access levels and email notifications is that if a user doesn't have access uh, to a project, they will not receive uh, those email notifications. So you can see here the default settings for email notifications within Mantis Hub. By default, all uh, users that have a relationship to the issue will receive notifications with the exception for new issues. Uh, you'll see that obviously monitored and uh, users that have add notes uh, has been turned off because that's uh, not applicable to new issues and for new issues we're also um, sending notifications to developers, managers and administrators. So there are three levels at which you can change your email notification settings and the first level is to do it for all projects and so you have to take special note of the project filter at the top here. So when you have it set to all projects, whatever changes you make will apply to all projects. The other thing about all project settings is that it will appear as blue, just so you can see uh, how it differs from the default settings. So for all projects, I want to make sure that, say, uh, anything that's resolved is emailed to managers and administrators. I can then update that configuration. And you can see now that those settings are highlighted blue and they'll be applied to all projects. The second level at which you can set, uh, you can configure email notifications is for a specific project. And to do that, you would head into that specific project via the project filter. You can see here from this helpful te text at the top that uh, specific project settings will uh, be highlighted with green and they will override all project settings. So say for our project, uh, managers also wanna know whenever uh, the, uh, an issue's changed uh, handlers, has been reassigned. Can then update that configuration. And you can see that that's highlighted in green. If you head back to all projects, you'll see that that setting's not there because it's a project specific setting. You can also revert back to the defaults at any point within all projects. There's a button at the bottom where you can delete all project settings. And then if you, you can also do that for the specific project settings. There's a button, delete project specific settings. It's gonna tell you what it's deleting and you would confirm that. Okay, the last level at which you can set email configurations is on a per user basis. So within their account, they can actually amend their personal preferences uh, with regard to email notifications. So if they head up to this drop down next to their uh, username, they'll see there's an option for my account. And then head into the preferences tab. You can see there are a number of options here to check or uncheck uh, emails for specific actions. It's important to note in regards to setting uh, e email notifications in your personal preferences that you can only reduce the number of emails that you get sent or the type of emails you get sent. You can't uh, add 
an email notification where the system is not already set up to send that email notification. You can also see a few options down the bottom here in regards to note limits and uh, full issue details. This relates to your non-verbose or verbose email settings. I will cover that in a little bit. And of course, your personal uh, email preferences will override project and system settings. You can find all this information about configuring email notifications on our knowledge base, support.mentorshub.com. You can search on the configuring email notifications article. Also need to let you know that there are a couple of default settings within Mantis Hub uh, relating to your email uh, notifications. The first is that email notifications for your own actions is turned off. So if you do want to receive email notifications for, you, for your own actions, then uh, you can turn that on at any time. Just head into our knowledge base and you can find uh, an article on how to turn that on. It's a simple configuration option. So if you head back into your manage, manage configuration section and go into your configuration report, you can create that configuration option there. The second default setting is uh, whether your email notifications are verbo verbose or non-verbose. Uh, the non-verbose is the default setting and that truncates your email notifications. So you will only get notifications of the action that was taken rather than full de issue details. Again, this is something that you can change if you want to via a configuration option. You can also change that in your own personal settings as we saw before. So if you tick the box, uh, enable full issue details, um, on your personal preferences, you will turn on verbose. And that's when you would uh, apply the note limit to your email settings. If you're worried about the amount of email notifications you're sending out, uh, Mantis Hub do offer a number of other options uh, for you to consider. I mean, if you do want to trim down your email notification configuration as much as possible. One uh, tip, uh, as we mentioned a bit earlier, is that you can tailor user access to a project. So you can set a project to private and not add users to that project unless they need to so that they don't receive uh, any unneeded email notifications. There are other ways you can notify your users about actions within Mantis Hub. Uh, you can make use of our at mention. Whenever a user is mentioned, they will receive an email notification that they've been mentioned um, with the note details. You can also send a reminder to a user And you can also add yourself or add another user to be a monitor of the issue. Monitors will receive all notifications of actions on that issue. Lastly, we do have some chat integrations with Slack or HipChat. So if you would rather users receive notifications via chat applications, um, then you can have uh, updates streamed into um, Slack channels or HipChat rooms. Lastly, if you do have any issues with your email notifications, we do have some tips and tricks um, that you can check out in our article in our KB, Troubleshooting Email Notifications. And that's it. There is a heap more information in our knowledge base that you can check, or you can email our helpful support team at support at mantishub.com. Thanks for listening.